How do you win a badminton match? A lot of players would most likely say by scoring more points than your opponent. But in reality, most rallies are decided by errors or unforced errors. No matter if you're looking at the beginner level or if you're watching the pros, around 60% of all rallies will end with a mistake. In this video, I want to show you a tactic or a shot that has almost no risk of making own mistakes, but gives you a really high reward in terms of easy mistakes by your opponent. And the key to that is, drum roll please, playing to the middle of the court. What? Why should I play in the middle? My opponent is standing there, you might wonder. And yeah, you're totally right, this is not a hard shot to reach. But now I want to dive into the details why it is actually useful to play to the middle and to understand when and how to use it. So first of all, let's think about the numbers in the beginning. Most rallies are decided by errors or unforced errors. And by playing to the middle, you minimize that number uh, dramatically because you have no chance now of playing it wide or playing it long. Of course, your shot still needs some quality, so you don't want to play a half-high shot to the middle like this one here. Even on a beginner level, this is just too easy for your opponent and he will most likely score from those situations many times. So try to get a little bit speed, but also proper height into the shot. So it's perfect if the shuttle dives after the net. You can play to the middle from the net, but also from the rear court, and it should land around the tee or maybe a little bit further into the court. Besides the low risk for making mistakes, you will most likely get a lot of errors from your opponent when you play to the middle because of two reasons. On one hand, it is very tempting when the shuttle comes to you and flies to the middle that you take a lot of risk yourself and you want to go for the winner right away. But from a situation like that, it is not easy at all to score a winner or to play a dangerous shot at all. Because first of all, you have to decide if you want to take it with the backhand or with the forehand. And then when you have it in front of your body, it's not that easy to play a fast or precise shot. You also have no real angles to play past your opponent. So many times it will also happen that when you play to the middle, the next one will be a very good chance or an easy shot for you to score a winner yourself because your opponent wants to pass you with a flat shot, but you just have to get your racket out, intercept it and play it down. Many times he will just also make a mistake, play it to the net, play it wide. And I think the main reason for that is no one is actually practicing shots from the middle of the court. Or have you ever seen someone asking for feeding to the middle and practicing technical things from a position like that? I've almost never seen it. Most players only practice technical things in the corners, so they usually don't have a good answer when you play to the middle of the court and they have no technical quality in their shots when the shuttle just comes right towards them. Two more important things in the end. Don't try to use that tactic or that shot all the time because you're doing it all the time. You will on one hand make it very easy for your opponent. He will not have to use any energy to uh, get around the court and he will also get used to what you're doing and he will most likely make it pretty hard for you, make you work very hard and in the end you will not win matches by only playing to the middle. So mix it up by also playing it to the corners but from time to time from the front court but also from the rear court add in those shots that go towards the middle. This strategy is also more useful for a little bit advanced players. If you're just starting out, if you're on the beginner level, it is more effective and more useful to try to push the opponent to the corners. But also here, try to focus not to go too close to the lines, keep the shuttle in, reduce the number of your mistakes, and that will also make you more successful in terms of results. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you find this tactic useful and let me know in the comments below if it actually worked sometimes, if you maybe got some easy points by errors from your opponent. Um, I had the experience that this is super helpful, super powerful to sometimes add in those shots. These videos take so much time and if you want to support me, there are two new ways. I created a Patreon account where you can subscribe monthly and set up a donation that will um, directly go into equipment and these videos that I'm doing so you can help me to create maybe even more, get the quality even higher. And on the other hand, you can also become a YouTube channel member. You will find all the details in the description below and it would really mean a lot to me and help me a lot if you become a Patreon or if you get a channel member of my YouTube channel. As usual, before you jump off, don't forget to hit the like button for this video. If you're not already following, subscribe to my channel and then see you next time. Bye bye. What? Why should I play in the middle? My opponent is standing there. <laughs>